Detention is a high school movie that is, I would, I'd kind of describe it as a John Hughes film if it was raped by a psychotic George Lucas. The origin of the project came uh, when I was meeting up with my friend Mark Palermo from Halifax, uh, Canada, and we were discussing, you know, uh, movies that we liked, and we both had this feeling that we wanted to make something about high school. We didn't know what it was, um, but, you know, at some point I think in a filmmaker's life you've got to address childhood. And so this is my version of a high school movie. This is my, my version of a personal story of how I feel about what it's like to be young and what the youth think about and, and more importantly, um, what I think the youth of today is like. We had this script for a while. Um, it took three years to write. But it, I think we, I took about a year just trying to sell it to different studios. And, and nobody wanted to do it. Nobody understood it. It was too crazy, too whatever, too unmarketable. Uh, so I was in Manchester doing a commercial, and I was coming back on a train to London, and I suddenly realized maybe I should make the, make it myself. And um, I turned to my producer and I turned to uh, my crew and I said, "We're going to start prepping the movie right now," which was actually July 1st. And um, and I also knew that like because schools went back into session, it was going to be impossible to shoot there. We needed to shoot that movie by September, at least the school parts. So you know, a month and a half after I said, let's start prepping, we were shooting. And we ended up shooting the movie over two months, um, but the first month of it was done um, before school got back in session. It was, a, it was a race against time. In choosing my cast, being that this is truly an independent production in that uh, the money is mine for the most part, it's, it comes straight out of my bank account to what you see on the screen, uh, and there's no studio involvement, uh, you know, it, it's a tricky thing because you're not going to get like, you know, the mainstream stars that you normally expect. However, Josh Hutcherson, um, who was just coming off Kids Are Alright, read the script and loved it, um, and he came on board. So he was my first star. Um, I had an idea for you know, actually Mark and I, I, I should stop taking so much credit, you know. Um, Mark and I had uh, an idea for uh, Spencer Locke and, uh, for this part of Ione, and she was in the Resident Evil film, and she was the only person that we could think of who could play that part, and she immediately said yes. So things started lining up. And then uh, for Verge, you know, I had worked with Dane Cook before on Torque, and, and he's, he came on board, and so we had, you know, a, a couple recognizable names and faces, but it freed us up then to cast... Um, you know, uh, specifically for the role as opposed to like trying to fit like, you know, squares into circles and things like that. So the rest of the cast are uh, mostly unknowns and especially our lead actress, Shanley, uh, who when I went through a, a bunch of ideas of who could be my lead girl, because she's the main character, um, you know, one of my fantasies was why don't I cast the best actress, for, regardless of name, regardless of box office appeal, regardless of anything, who was the best actress who could bring pathos to the role? And that was Shanley. And because it's my movie and it was my money, I rolled the dice and I went with her and I'm extraordinarily happy. I casted Shanley because of her audition, which was phenomenal. It was so realistic. You know, the, the movie has obviously very fantastic elements to it that spread all over the place in different genres and stuff. But it's very important that, that the actors who play it play it very straight face. We don't, you know, as long as, you know, there's elements to the movie that I, I guess kind of have a wink to it. I never want it to be like, like you never take any parts of the movie seriously, but there is definitely sort of a meta feel to the movie. But what was important is that none of the characters should be aware of this. None of the characters should be commenting on it's a movie. Like they don't exist in a movie, they exist in a real world. And so when it came to the acting, and, and to accomplish that effect, I needed real actors. And Shanley's audition was so natural. She had a way of taking some of our complex dialogue and just brushing it aside, and just saying it. And that was, that was awesome. And then on top, you know, I, I went through a further audition process where I wanted to see if you could take that naturalism and the way that she had a sort of, you know, attitude that she didn't care and then make her care because the character has to at some point. And she nailed that. And, and, then, uh, and then ultimately I also had a third aspect to it too. I was like, you know, is, is, you know, I didn't want her to be outwardly sexy, you know, because I just think that's wrong for an 18 year old girl. Like, uh, like uh, our girl is supposed to be an underdog. So uh, obviously Shanley is not an unattractive girl, but you know, can she essentially be you know, attractive without putting it so far up in front of the camera? And you know, she just has this sort of slow burn, which I think a lot of, a lot of boys are gonna like. Like she's definitely the girl next door that, that uh, is more attractive than she thinks she is.